Hey friends, today I am hanging out on International Drive. If you can't tell, there is a gigantic lobster cart behind me. That belongs to Boston Lobster Feast, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here because most of you know Disney World has shut down already. Same thing with Universal and SeaWorld, and now Disney Springs and the resorts are gonna be closing soon too. So I wanted to come out and see how all those theme parks closing has affected the local tourism that's happening here on International Drive. If you guys don't know, International Drive is a very, very big spot for tourists to come stay. It's in between Universal and Disney and SeaWorld is actually on International Drive. So let's take a look around and show you all the cool offerings and check out the area. Let's go do this. And if you can see in the distance there, the Orlando Eye is peeking above that tree line. And we're going to go down there and check out the Icon Park area. But we're going to be doing it with a little style because they have these pretty fancy scooters that you can actually rent and just scoot along International Drive. Basically, all you have to do is just download the app, scan it, and then it charges like point 29 cents or 29 cents per minute which isn't too bad and uh i'm a little nervous <laughs> i'm a lot nervous i very much underestimated my ability to <laughs> drive this and vlog at the same time but it is the quickest and most efficient way to get around down here so uh not too much vlogging while we're driving Woo! I have to admit, I'm getting pretty good at this. <laughs> the scooter, after a couple minutes, yeah, you get the hang of it. Along our way, I wanted to stop and show you the Castle Hotel, which is right behind Vito's Chop House. Look at how beautiful that is. Who knew you can stay in a castle on International Drive? And here it is, look at that. That is beautiful, right? I don't wonder if I can go inside and just take a peek see. They even have valet parking. Keep her running. <laughs> Look at these fancy door handles. Oh, wow. This is not what I expected at all. It's pretty nifty in here. And those must be the fanciest lobby furniture I've ever seen. Those are chairs. That is pretty fancy. Oh, there's two of them. Oh yeah, I like them. <laughs> right outside the lobby, we got a nice little pool area with the fancy fountain. Oh no, but the pool is closed at this time. Looks very nifty though, doesn't it? I like it. This is like smack dab right in the middle of International Drive. I like this place a lot. Have any of you guys ever stayed here before? It's just got such a strange interior, or like lobby. I like it a lot. Look at the elevators and the antler chandelier. <laughs> Inside here they have a little lobby lounge area. Very cool. It's closed at the moment and we'll get to that. I was just chit-chatting with the concierge a little bit. He told me he is at a 10% occupancy rate. He said he was booked solid last week. That's insane. From being sold out, booked solid, to drop down to 10%, that's a big jump. Wow. That is so sad that a hotel can go from 100% occupancy down to 10% occupancy. I mean, that really hurts the hospitality industry down here. So we're gonna move along. And there's also a little miniature golf place right next door I wanna show you. And right next to the Castle Hotel, we have Pirate's Cove Adventure Golf. And look at this place. It is so themed. It's crazy, it reminds me so much of Pirates of the Caribbean. Even this little ship down here. Look at that. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> it 
This might be one of the most well-themed miniature golfs I've actually ever seen. And I drove past this a million times, but I've never stopped in here. I never just looked around, but since I'm on the good old scooter, it gives me the perfect opportunity to take a peek. I feel like I found two things that I might want to come back and just vlog. I'd love to actually spend a night at the Castle Hotel, and I'd love to come do a round of miniature golf. But you know what? It's hard to vlog and actually do miniature golf at the same time. So I might need a partner for that one. Uh-oh. I came back out to grab my scooter, and a couple other scooters showed up. It's a gang of scooters. I'm starting to get the hang of this. They go pretty quick. Holy moly, I'm flying. Woo, I'm the king of the world. <laughs> and we made it over to the wheel at Icon Park. And look at a coming soon sign. The world's tallest slingshot ride and drop tower coming to Icon Park right here. Like, it's going to be right here. You can see by the signs that right here is the the uh, wheel at Icon Park, the Star Flyer, and then right there. Pretty fancy. And right now we are in front of the wheel at Icon Park. Look at that, I never noticed they had a little bar out here. Not that busy though. Kind of uh, a little slow. I also want to point out one of my favorite places to come hang out for nightlife and that's the tin roof, and that's right here, next to the Orlando Eye, or the Wheel at Icon Park, I'm sorry. I, well, it's always gonna be the Orlando Eye for me. I just can't help it. But I love this place, because they have live music every night, and then they also have like a new addition that they added to, where it's just full of free play arcade games. We hopped from the Wheel at Icon Park right on over to the Star Flyer. Look at that bad boy. This is actually fairly cheap to do. I think Florida residents only paid $13. Maybe I'll go see how much it really is. It is $14.08. $14.08. It's kind of scary. Don't you think? Isn't that like the room? $14.08? Or am I getting that wrong? I would totally ride it. I have ridden it before. I really do like it. But you need to have a wrist strap or some kind of... Uh, Something that will equip to you, like a GoPro, and this just won't cut it. And there's a Ripley's Believe It or Not right there. Oh boy. Oh! Look, there's more scooters. Huh. It's so crazy, because if you ever bend down on International Drive, it's usually full of traffic and people just walking around. I mean, this is very, very slow. Like, I can't even believe it. One other thing I want to point out, if you're not too fancy with taking the scooter around International Drive, they do have a trolley that goes up and down for one price. There it goes. Look at that little trolley flying down International Drive. <laughs> Gonna cross the street. Luckily they got these nice crosswalks, but they should have one of those like arrow things, I feel like. The traffic wasn't bad a second ago. It's still not that bad though. Like usually, like I drive is like usually bumper to bumper. So I'll take this. I got this. They're part of my scooter gang. Hey, scooter gang! <laughs> I scooted up to this place, Bar Louie, and it says, eat, drink, and be happy. I like that. Be happy, huh? I think we're gonna check it out. Sounds like a pretty happening time in there. Look at this. Oh, you know what? There was a Bar Louie up uh, where I used to live, and it was in the Mohegan Sun Arena, or in the casino. And look at that pretty little Orlando Eye. Oh, I like the way it looks in here. Very chilled, relaxed environment. And there's a lot of different beers on tap. Look at the bar. It's actually really awesome, isn't it? And it's kind of like an open patio, because these aren't windows, they're just little blinds that they lift up and you can just sit here and you can stare at the Orlando Eye. Oh, the wheel at Icon Park. And right next door to Bar Louie, they got Bargain World. So you got Bargain World and Bar Louie, also with CC's Pizza. I gotta take a trip into Bargain World. That is a little creepy. <laughs> Lots of things that say Orlando on them, or Florida, and then just blank Mickey and Minnie's. 
these types of places are really not the best place to get your Disney souvenirs. I mean, it's basically like Walmart. I mean, that's like they sell basically all these items probably at Walmart for a cheaper price, more or less. And then, I don't know. I see these all over the place though. But Walmart definitely doesn't have these stylish mannequins here. Wow. Literally thought that was a real person for a second. You know what I just realized? All these stops that I'm making, the scooter I park outside and it's literally just racking up the time. <laughs> like I feel like I own it, but I'm paying like uh, per minute. So I think we might have to take the scooter back because this has actually been a while. It doesn't seem like it has because I've been able to scoot all over the place, but we went to the castle, went to the pirates area. I mean, I mean, honestly, the stretch of land that we covered is like so much and it would have taken me a long time just to walk, just to visit all those places. So uh, I'm happy that I did use it. Now I got to see how much it cost. Oh, here comes that trolley again. Look at that little trolley. So there's my recap. I uh, went 1.9 miles, so two miles. It cost me $12.31, 38 minutes. That's pretty awesome. Seriously, just coming down and riding the scooters, I think is fun on its own. It's cool because you, they just lay around. You just pick it up, scan, start driving. And then uh, when you want to drop it off, you just check your phone, like the app, and it'll tell you where the nearest drop off is. But there's like drop off, drop off, drop off, like tons all over the place. So that's really, that's like an experience on its own. I really had fun doing that. Another cool spot I wanted to show you was Howl at the Moon, which is basically jelly rolls outside Disney. It's a dueling piano bar, but they have like a whole band. Like it's pretty, pretty intense in here and it's a very good time, but I'm pretty sure they're closed. And yep, Howl at the Moon Orlando is closed. Closed for the coronavirus. Makes sense, Disney's doing it and a lot of places are. It's best to be safe. And we're also talking about how International Drive is very busy and very full of tourism. But also, now that Disney and the parks aren't closed, this place should be packed. Everything should be packed because there's nowhere else to go. And unfortunately, some of the people that were here on vacation can't actually go home. They are not allowed to leave. The travel bans are restricting the flights. So a lot of people are just stuck in Orlando without anything to do, really. Another spot I wanted to show you guys is the ice bar and this place usually is semi busy It's right next to an indoor skydiving place not gonna do that But I am gonna explore the ice bar a little bit because I need to cool off And take a peek inside here. Oh look at get yourself some coats. I Think and uh, they told me that there was two different bars in here one of them is just a regular lounge you can come relax and hang out in and the other one is the actual ice bar and that one has a ten dollar cover and it's an ice bar we're definitely gonna have to check it out but seriously i mean i know it's still early there's nobody in here fire I paid the $10 so I can experience the ice bar because it really was intriguing me and like I said, it was a little hot. So, uh, all right, I'm going in here. I'm kind of excited. Get gloves and a coat. Fancy, fancy, fancy. So, <laughs> they give you gloves and a coat. Oh, and I already feel it, it's amazing. Look at it in here, look at it. They even got little furs so you can sit down. I wish you guys can actually feel how cold it is in here. This is all ice, like actual ice. That's pretty awesome. A look at the menu. They've got some icy shots. Frozen green tea, polar berry freeze, the Yeti. I think I'm gonna get the Yeti. The shots are served in ice. Pretty fancy. I think I'm gonna take a seat over here with my Yeti shot with the penguin. I'm glad that I'm not riding that scooter around anymore. Oh man, that was delicious. <laughs> and they're just casually cleaning up in here, keeping it nice and sanitized, but there's only two other people and they just walked in. 
The walls are complete ice. Look at the sculptures too. That's so pretty. This is definitely gonna be one of my favorite places to hang out now. Never been in here before, but I really like it. And it's definitely a place I'm coming back to. I like to stay cold at all times. I don't know why I moved to Florida. That was seriously so fun. I had to take your glasses off because they fogged up. Because you know, you go from nice and cold to humidity and maybe even the lens is that way. I, I don't know because I can't see. But I think that's gonna do it for me tonight. I had a lot of fun just hanging out on I Drive. And like I said, it's, it's pretty empty down here. The hospitality industry took a big hit along with Disney. And I'm sure that is around the world. So everyone be safe. We'll see you next time. Bye.